everyone, it's Rachel from The Rach Mark. Today I'm going to be using my Planner Society February Planner Kit to decorate and set up my Pocket Traveler's Notebook. I already do have these interchangeable dashboards by the Foxy Fix ready to go, so all I need to do is cut my patterned papers to the correct size, which I measured out to be just about 3 inches by 5 inches, and then I will decorate them and insert them into the dashboards. I love how easy it is to change up the look of my planner without having to laminate anything or even think too hard about it since these patterned papers are all so gorgeous. I had three interchangeable dashboards so I needed six sheets of the double-sided papers and then I decided to use some of the die cuts from the kit and decorate the dashboards a little bit further and I arranged them all first onto the dashboards just so I can play around with them, see what fit better onto what kind of pattern and then once I was happy with the placement I used regular double-sided tape to stick them all down. And now I am pairing the dashboards up just so that I don't have too many patterns repeating too often and I'm kind of dispersing the colors evenly so when I flip through my planner I don't get two blues right next to each other or two pinks or so on. I did make sure when cutting out my papers that I would have enough room to wrap around my inserts which is why there's kind of a little bit of blank space in the middle. The planner that I'm setting up is by the Foxy Fix. It is a wide number two or pocket size in espresso. The first insert that I'm setting up is my coloring book insert by the 1407 Planners, which I think is really fun. I also have a sticker sheet by the Fox and Pip in there, which is sized perfectly for this type of planner. And I like to arrange my entire booklet together first and then slide it under the strap just so I can see how it looks before I put it into my planner. For my next strand, I do have this piece of vellum that I got from Michaels. Unfortunately, at the time of filming, I did not have my Planner Society vellum and acetate sheets of paper, but this would be the perfect time to use one of those just to decorate the inside of the booklet more. So the, this blue booklet is just used as my gratitude journal. This next insert is blank for now, but I'm planning on using it as kind of a mini scrapbook where I can put in little papers and brochures that I pick up during my travels and in everyday life if I find something cute. At the last minute, I decided to also decorate this pocket insert that I have. It is sized for a passport sized journal, but I can use it perfectly in my pocket size. And I absolutely loved this pattern bag that the stickers from the planner kit came in this month. So I cut up the bag and I um, sized it down to the correct size that I needed for the pocket since they weren't the same size as the dashboards. And then I decorated a little bit using the stickers that came in the kit. This is a great way to use up every piece of the kit since it does come with really gorgeous packaging as well. And I put that pocket insert onto the last string in my notebook cover. This particular notebook cover does not have sewn in pockets, but I do have some clear adhesive ones on the inside covers. And I think that worked out better for this shaker card to show its full beauty. And then I also added one of the cute fabric clips to the front pocket. And for the back pocket, I decided to take a little chunk of the sticky notes that came in the kit and kind of place them into the back pocket just for decoration mostly, but of course you could also use it to jot down a quick note. I did take the remaining two fabric clips and put them into my two main notebooks just so I can mark my place. For some even more added decoration, I took the remaining die cuts that I had left over and I just placed them anywhere that I could into the other spots of my planner where it seemed kind of bare or where I just wanted to use some of my favorite die cut designs. So that is how I decorated this planner, which actually acts as my journal mainly. So I love, again, I think the clear pockets worked perfectly for the shaker cards that came in this month's kit. And I really loved all of the patterns that came in this month's planner kit. I think that the colors, even though they're very bright and almost spring-like, they worked really well with the darker brown of my planner cover. So I was really happy with how it turned out. I don't think I mentioned this before, but the this blue notebook as well as my other 2017 notebook that are in my planner are by May Designs and they are the mini book size. 
As I mentioned before, I unfortunately did not have the Planner Society vellum and acetate papers on hand while I was filming this video, but I love using them in this type of traveler's notebook type of planner because they add some added dimension since these are kind of booklets that are put together. So inserting them before your dashboards or in between notebooks is a really fun way to add some added decoration. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to The Rage Mark as well as Christy Tomlinson to see more planner videos and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!